Hello and welcome to the Facebook traffic video. Now, during this video, of course, we're going to be talking about a little strategy that I use to drive tons of traffic to my website using Facebook ads. Now, first off, let's quickly cover why I use Facebook ads and why you need to be using Facebook ads as well. And this is probably my favorite source of traffic currently than anywhere else on the internet right now. Now, for one, Facebook ads is just a gold mine right now. Facebook ads is just like Google AdWords was about 10 years ago, okay? It's popular, it's huge, and it's still kind of new, okay? Facebook isn't 100% Facebook hasn't 100% figured out the advertising platform yet. As you know, if you're you know, familiar with Facebook ads, it's definitely changed a lot over the past few years, and it's gonna keep changing. All right, what the main difference is between like Facebook and Google AdWords is, for one, Facebook, you can do a lot better targeting, okay? We can get really detailed with who we target on Facebook and some things that we can't do on Google AdWords, for example. Also, Facebook is a lot more lenient with their rules. You know, with Facebook, we can link directly to affiliate offers or a bunch of different pages that we can't really do with Google AdWords. AdWords has a very strict linking policy. They really hate affiliates. They really hate like all these salesy types of videos and things like that. And Facebook, you know, really lets us get away with all of that stuff, which allows us to drive traffic anywhere we want without having any issues, except for minor issues, of course, like gambling and things like that. Facebook does not approve that. And of course, Facebook has, you know, more than a billion users. So no matter what your niche is or what your target is, there is an audience for on Facebook that you can target and you can get clicks for as low as pennies or sometimes even less than pennies if you know what you're doing. Now, Facebook does have a lot of different types of ads and different types of bidding and strategies that you can use when creating your ad. For example, they have like ads and the whole point of this is to build up your fan page and get likes for your fan page. You can do lead ads where the whole point is for you to get a lead and this is what we're going to be focusing on by driving traffic to our squeeze page and focusing on getting leads. And the last strategy is a sales type strategy where you're gonna send traffic to a product launch or some kind of sales page trying to make the sale. Facebook also offers cost per click or CPM, which is cost per impression. So what that means is cost per click is you are going to pay every time someone clicks on your ad. No matter what they do on the other end, you're gonna pay when they click on your ad. A CPM or a cost per impression means you are going to pay a flat amount per 1,000 impressions. So no matter if no one clicks on your ad or if all 1,000 people click on your ad, you are going to pay one small fee per every 1,000 impressions. Also, there are two types of placement for your ads. You have right-hand side ads and newsfeed ads. Right-hand side ads are usually better for the like type ads when you're trying to build your fan pages up. If you're just trying to get some name recognition and you want people to see your face or see your brand name, that's kind of ideal for that. Not too effective when you're trying to build an email list or make sales. That's where we use the newsfeed ad. These are perfect for you know squeeze pages and sales pages. You're trying to sell a product, whether you're a vendor or an affiliate, the click-through rate is always much, much higher on the newsfeed because we have bigger images and we are right there in the middle of their Facebook. And that's what we're gonna be using with our strategy is a newsfeed ad. Now, the whole point of this strategy is very, very simple. We are going to be setting up newsfeed ads that redirect to our squeeze page. Okay, that's the main point of this video. And this is how I build my list and add thousands of subscribers to my email list every single month, okay? We're gonna create simple ads, redirect them to our squeeze page, all right? So you're gonna need a squeeze page for this strategy to work, all right? So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Here I am on Facebook right now, and as you can see, we have all these different objectives that we can choose for building our Facebook ad. Now, what we wanna do is what I recommend and what I do is I send people to your website, all right? This is pretty straightforward. This means when someone clicks on your ad, they are going to be redirected to your website. So once you click on this here, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to enter the URL that you want to promote and this is gonna be your squeeze page. So type out your squeeze page here. 
And once you get your squeeze page URL entered there, you are going to see that we now have all these different options for creating our ad. Now, first up, we need to choose our audience. Now, if you aren't sure who your audience is, no problem at all. We're going to figure that out. And that's also the point of these ads is we're going to do a lot of testing and find out which audience is converting the best for us. Okay. So for one, for locations, you know, we need our location, we need age, we need gender. So for example, let's say that I have a squeeze page in the weight loss niche for women. Okay. I am promoting a product that is directed towards women in the weight loss niche. Okay, so I know for a fact for gender, I want women, all right? But maybe I'm not sure on the countries or the age or anything like that. So what we can do is we can head over to alexa.com and we can post any website that is related to our niche. So for example, women's health mag is big in women's health and fitness and things like that. So I pasted their URL in alexa.com and it's going to come back and give me some information about this website. So as we can see, who visits this website the most? We can see for one female, majority is female, which I already expected that. We can see that the majority has some college or some college. They browse from their home. And we can see that the most visited by country is United States and India, but mainly just the United States with over 50% of the visitors. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. I am going to keep mine on women. I'm going to keep it on just the United States for now. And for the ages, I'll keep it at 18. And I'm going to change 65 plus to, let's try around 50. All right, we'll, we'll test that out there. Now, the big thing here is the interest. Who are we going to target? Who is interested in our weight loss product? Well, I can start it off by doing just some broad interest. You know, I can choose weight loss, for example, because that's who I'm targeting. If you know of anybody in your niche that is big, for example, you can target people. Like if I was targeting basketball players, I could target LeBron James. If I was targeting internet marketing people, I could target Frank Kern. So off the top of my head, I don't know anyone who is big in the weight loss niche. But once you type out the first one, as we can see my weight loss, they're going to start giving you recommendations here. So I can do, you know, dieting. I could do physical exercise and i can just choose all these different interests that are related to the people that i am targeting and on the right hand side here we can see that we have around 24 million people who fit all of this different criteria okay so scrolling down a little bit further here how much do you want to spend per day now this is completely up to you but let me go ahead and point out that it doesn't matter how much money you have you know spending $500 a day is not going to change anything and it's not going to make your ad do any better. Okay. I always recommend five to 10 to $15 per day. I don't recommend starting off with $20 plus because it's really not going to make a difference. Okay. We're going to be split testing different ads anyways. So all those different $5 ads are going to add up anyways. If you're looking to spend that much money, don't come in here and drop a hundred dollars per day because it's not gonna make any difference. So I like to test with five or $10 per day just to see how my ad is converting. That's more than enough money to see how your ad's converting. So I'm gonna keep that at $5 per day. And when we scroll down a little bit more, we can actually create our ad, all right? So first off, we need an image. Now I actually had a little image created for this weight loss squeeze page. So let me go ahead and load that up here by clicking on this plus symbol. All right, there we go. Now we can see we have our little ad created here. Now, for your image here, what I recommend, you know, there are some things that you can try to catch people's attention because, you know, when people are browsing through their news feed, they're seeing all these different images and you kind of have to think outside of the box and really create something that's different and captures their attention. I recommend having, you know, some kind of bright border around your image or some kind of bright background or like, you know, a play button using weird font using someone's face or someone's body, you know, something that stands out and always have some sort of call to action, okay? I just grabbed a random image here. I wouldn't really use this image, probably not. It has no border. It doesn't really have a call to action, although we can use the buttons down here as a call to action, but we'll come back to that here in a second. Now, if you aren't really good with graphics, you can head over to fiverr.com. You can have an awesome newsfeed graphic created for you for $5. All I did was search Facebook newsfeed ad, and we can see that we have all these different people that can create an image for us for just $5. So you can, you can head over there. Don't think too much about it. Just spend $5 and have your image created. 
Now, all we want to focus on is the newsfeed ad, the desktop newsfeed. Okay. For the mobile newsfeed, you can keep that up if you wanted to. For the right column, we're going to remove that. And I'm actually going to remove, you know what, we'll keep mobile feed. Actually, we'll keep that up as well. So we're going to go with the desktop and the mobile newsfeed. Get rid of right column because we don't want to promote that at all. We are looking to build our list. Now, for the headline, you know, whatever it is you're promoting, you want to have a headline, obviously, that goes along with that promotion. So I could do something like how to lose 25 pounds because that's what the image says. 25 pounds in only two weeks. And then for my text, I could say something like, tired of those love handles? Click here to learn how I lost 25 pounds in only two weeks. And that's gonna appear there. Now, when you do run a desktop newsfeed ad, you do have to choose a fan page. Now, when they click this ad, it's still gonna redirect to your squeeze page or whatever website you entered up here. But we still have to enter a fan page because it's going to be sponsored from that fan page. So you can just click this plus sign right here to create a new one if you don't already have one. And you basically just have to enter a name for it and that's it. That's what I did here. I just entered how to lose weight fast. And that's all you have to do for that there. Now for the call to action, I do recommend using this. I like to use the download button here. And as you can see, it will put a button there. If you're sending people to a squeeze page and wanting them to opt in for a download, you know, choose download, of course. If you're sending people to, you know, a sales page, do like, you know, shop now or your sign up or whatever it is. Or if you're just going to send them to like an article or something like that, you know, choose learn more. Choose whichever call to action just, you know, complements the offer that you are promoting. So I'm going to choose download now. If we show the advanced options here, we can also give a description below or a headline here. As we can see like that, if you want to add more text to try to get your viewers to go ahead and click through and go to your squeeze page. So I'll keep it like that there. Now here's the real secret and here's how to really drill this down and get the most out of these ads. If we scroll back up here, you're going to notice that we selected all these different interests, right? We selected three for this example, but for you, you might have nine, 10, you know, 20 different interests. What I like to do is I like to create one ad per interest so that I can test out the different interests and see which one is converting the best. Because if I run one ad here with these three different interests and I'm getting you know, all these people opting in each and every day, all those different people might actually be opting in. They might only be fans of weight loss and I don't know that, right? I could get 100 clicks from people who are dieting fans. I could get 100 clicks from people who are into physical exercise and 100 clicks into people who are into weight loss. And all the people that opt into my squeeze page could all be from weight loss, and I'm just wasting money by advertising to the dieting people and the physical exercise people. So what I would do is I would close out of these right here, for example, and with this ad, I would just focus on weight loss. So I would scroll down, I would place my order, and then when you place your order, it says, would you like to create another ad just like this? So you're gonna click on that button, and when you do, it's gonna give you all this exact same details, right? Everything's gonna be exactly the same, and when you do that, you're gonna come in here, you're gonna get rid of weight loss, and this time, you're going to focus on dieting, for example. Then you're gonna place your ad for this one, you're gonna create another similar ad, and you're gonna swap out dieting for something else, okay? So you have all these ads that are exactly the same, except each one has a different interest. And this way you can focus on each individual one and see which one is converting the best and stop advertising on the ones that aren't converting the best. Okay. That's just how simple it is to drive traffic to your squeeze page using Facebook and building your list. Just focus on your interest, see which one is converting the best. And then you can expand on that and stop wasting your money and advertising to the other ones.